Dear Sanya, Never before in South Asia has a death in Sao Paulo, Brazil caused so much distress and a terrible sense of loss. So wrote Paneer, your successor as Executive Director of Pan of South Asia, a media organization in Kathmandu. From Sao Paulo, your sister-in-law Luciana wrote, She showed that life is bigger than our little everyday worries. She taught us that we can love all religions, all cultures, all social classes. Because love can be bigger than our little day-to-day -day problems, little differences that can only cause wars, sadness, fear. Retired Brigadier Vasya Fuzain, she hated the army, I won't blame her. Though she was a journalist, but she was, in the back of the mind, she was a political figure. And talking of politics, she always preferred that this country should not be controlled by the military. You didn't have to fight for your own rights, but you were concerned about others and were active in the struggle for women's rights in Pakistan. You fiercely opposed General Ziaul Haq's 11-year-long military dictatorship with its restrictions on the media and on women. YL captured your spirit in his cartoons of that era in the weekend paper you edited. It was also during this time that linkages were formed with like-minded journalists and activists in India, despite the restrictions. In fact, I never thought of any of the friends I made there as Pakistani, just as I didn't think of myself as Indian. In early 1988, frustrated by the relentless curbs on journalists, you joined IUCN, the World Conservation Union, where you pioneered environmental journalism in Pakistan. I thought it was a brave decision uh, to step out into the unknown at a point in your career when you probably could have, you know, she could have risen to become editor. Later on, of course, I realized that this is part of what Sanya is. She was always at heart a journalist. There were no sacred cows. At the core of Sanya, there was great integrity. There was a great need to always fight for justice, to always defend the weak. She was, in many ways, a role model for so many young women journalists. You moved to South Africa in 1998 to join the Independent World Commission on Dams as communications consultant, tackling the controversial issues associated with large dams. There you met Luis, a Brazilian geographer. Two years later, you got married and moved together to Kathmandu, where you took over as director of Panos. One of your major projects there involved the media and the Pakistan-India conflict. You defied convention in a region where most women get married young to husbands chosen by their families. She wasn't anti-marriage, just that she didn't find the right person, I suppose, till she met Louise. We were happy. We said, yes, there are lots of barriers, religion and uh, language, culture, and so on. But she was a mature uh, woman. She was... Uh... 47 and I was 36. Our age difference is 11 years old. This fantastic love story happened because we are not expecting to find the solution of our problem or the, the person, that, person that we are waiting for. You had more choices and space than the average Pakistani woman and you were strong and clear in making these choices. No one can give her the stamp as Senia Hussein a feminist or a, she, she had this issues as important folks in her life but uh, not in a traditional way everything with some sauce with a good taste and now uh, the only thing that I can think is that well why it was so short why she had to go so early in such a, a way that we cannot understand you had a normal day at home in the afternoon she was reading her book uh, was working at the computer and then she started having a, a, crisis, a horrible crisis of asthma and you had to rush the, to the hospital. And I can say that, uh, I don't know if I can say like that, but my feeling is that Senia was killed by a terrible traffic jam that uh, did not allow us to reach the hospital in time. So the likeness that she brought to all the causes without obviously compromising on the principles and the seriousness of the issue and I think that made those causes more popular and also more widely accepted. <laughs>